exciting of a moment is this for you? It's a very exciting moment. Um, just becoming a homegrown, playing for the club. Uh, it's, this is my city I grew up in, so it's very exciting to be here. When did the conversation start that this might be um, a possibility with when the, when the Gavin and Caleb start talking about it? Um, about a month ago, you know, they just really told me to keep pushing. They, they were going to give me this opportunity, so I had some time to think about it with my family. And it was a big decision, and I'm glad I made this decision to become a pro. Were you weighing college between um, deciding to go pro at this age? Yes, I was. that was one of the hard decisions with my family. Um, between college or soccer, um, they understood what I wanted to do. They supported me through it, so we chose soccer. To How long have you been a Timbers fan for a long time? Yeah, I grew up watching my older brother play. He used to play for the U23 Timbers, so just growing up watching him play, I just wanted to become a Timbers player just like him. How did you end up in the academy system, and what was that process like? Um, I was going to join the academy my freshman year of high school but I had surgery on my uh, hand because I got hurt at pre-tryouts. So the next year I had my brother call Gregor and he gave me the opportunity to come try out. And that's how I joined my sophomore year. What's it like for you, 17, you go to Centennial High School and then you show up and go to Timbers Black practice and you're going up against Darlington Nag. What's that like? Uh, it's fun playing against those type, type of players. They're really good, uh, really hard to guard. Uh, Donaldson's a really good player, but I I feel like I got a hold of managing my time of practicing and school in the afternoon. So, uh, looking at your time with uh, T2 this last year, uh, how did uh, having that experience maybe help with the decision to sign with the first team? Uh, you know, Gregor really helped me through this. Uh, he he pushed me every day training with T2. He believed in me, so I feel like the transition from academy to T2 it really helped me for my development and I feel like the transition from T2 to the first team will really help me as well. What's it like to show up to you know show up today and then see all these cameras and mics? I'm, I'm guessing this isn't an average day for you. No, I mean it's crazy. It's something new for me. I've never really experienced anything like this in my life. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Thank you. What are, are you kind of set goals for yourself for what you want to accomplish next year? Um, Gavin said you know that they're going to give you the opportunity to push for um, push other guys, push for minutes. Mm -hmm. what, what are your goals for yourself? Uh, my goal for myself is really just playing in front of the Timbers Army. They're great and just pushing to develop, having Caleb push me, having teammates this good. I mean, it's, I feel like it will really help me through my development. What has Caleb told you in terms of what he's hoping to see from you? Uh, just keep working hard and just follow, follow what he says, follow what the club wants. And I just really hope to become a starter pretty soon. You're obviously going to be the youngest player, playing with guys more than 10 years older than you. I mean, what's, what's that experience like? How are you? Um, how do you deal with being the youngest person in an environment? Um, at first, yes, I feel I'm like yes, I'm younger than them. They're great players, but you know, if you think about it, just stepping onto the field, as, same field as them, you're, you're just like one of them, just younger. Who what have you heard uh, from some of your uh, former academy teammates? Uh, they're happy for me. Um, they really helped me through this as well. Uh, having great teammates, developing me, becoming the player I am today. Who was the first person you told when you found out that you were going to be signed? Uh, my family. What was that like? <laughs> uh, it was exciting. Um, like I said, it was a decision, but it's really a dream come true, uh, being able to play for the team that's in my hometown, having my family close to here, and having be playing for a great club. What was it like telling your friends at Centennial High School that you're now like an official timber? Uh, it was fun, but you know, gotta stay humble. I have to. I'm still the same person, just playing soccer for as a career. All right, thank you. Thank you.